Sunshines, it's Christy, and thanks for stopping by. I am so glad you're here. So for today's video, I have the Tear Tray Decor Box for December 2021. This box hasn't been on my channel in over a year. I've actually cut several boxes. You're going to notice some that are missing, and I'm bringing back some boxes that I truly loved. I also get a ton of questions about my Tear Tray because I talk about it here on the channel a lot, and I thought this was a good way to kind of incorporate it into the content over here. I show it quite often over on Instagram stories and sometimes on the wall, but I know not everybody is over there. So I love a good tiered tray. If you're unfamiliar with it, I will show you mine at the end of this video. We'll take some of the stuff and we'll decorate it. Um, but it's basically just like it stands. It's a multi-level set of trays. Sometimes the top layer is bigger and they go out. They're different metals. They're different colors. They're different woods. Pretty much any of your decor style, you're going to be able to find a tiered tray. And the best place to find them, in my opinion, is TJ Maxx, Marshalls, or Home Goods. You can usually get them between $19.99 and $24.99. And they have the cutest ones. Mine in my kitchen is only two tiered. I wish it was bigger, but my cabinets aren't very tall. So I have kind of a shorter one, but I just needed a little happy place in my kitchen. I had this like set of cabinets that I wasn't sure what to do with. And I love a tiered tray. I decorate mine all the time. I actually have a basket full of like tchotchke things to put on the tiered tray. So I switch it out all the time. Probably in December, I will switch it out three times. I have um, one right now that I've decorated with just things that I have or I've bought lately. Um, I will probably, well, I will decorate with this one and show you what I do with these products. And then toward the end of the month, leading toward Christmas, I do a hot chocolate bar with marshmallows and hot chocolate and peppermint stirs and all of that on my tiered tray, which is really fun too. It's just a great way to kind of mix things up. So like the name of the box, tiered tray decor box, this is a box of items for your tiered tray. It's $50 a month and you get five to eight items. Now you're not going to get enough items necessarily to decorate an entire tiered tray. You're going to kind of take what you get um, and use what you've got, but you also are going to get things that maybe are seasonal, but then you could use maybe in your January tier tray. I like to switch mine up every month or two. Um, so you're gonna be able after a few months to really have enough stuff that you can kind of mix and match. Like I have this beautiful, I'm pretty sure it came from this box or Habitation. They're actually sister companies. This beautiful mini milk pitcher. It's on my tier tray almost every time I decorate because I can just put an easy sprig of greenery or fall faux flowers or something on it. So you'll get some basic pieces that are going to work with whatever decor you use, which I really so like. So she did send this box to me for review, so I'm able to show it to you. And she gave me a 10% off discount, which I will link below. All right, let me open it up. It's got some recyclable paper, some brown squiggly shredded paper. Let's go ahead and take a peek. I just want to make sure that I'm not missing anything. All right. So everything is wrapped really nicely in bubble wrap. I always save the bubble wrap because you can use it to ship your holiday. Oh, these are beautiful. Look at these, you guys. Oh, they're little ice skates. It's an ornament, so you could put it on the tree if you wanted. But again, you could get a little pick, like you get it from Michael's that are, or even the Dollar Tree and stick it down in here like some red holly berries and stick this on your tiered tray. Now, what I love about this is you can definitely add it into your Christmas decor, but this would be gorgeous on a January tiered tray. I might add this to my hot chocolate bar, so I'll keep it um, and add it in with that. Oh, these are so pretty and they're sparkly. I don't know, can you see? Look at the detail on these. Really beautiful. Okay, love the first piece. And I love that it's not specifically like Christmas. It's nice to have some Christmas stuff, but obviously it's nice to have some stuff you can carry over from month to month. Okay, the next thing in here is this cute little lantern. I think I have to twist it to make it stay up. I think it came untwisted here. There we go. There we go. It's a little red lantern. Isn't that adorable? Cute little accent. You can get one of those little um, battery operated tea lights, even from the Dollar Tree to put in here. I always use light elements in my tear tray because I just think it makes it a little more homey, especially this time of year as the 
and so the light changes and it gets so dark so early it just adds that festive glow so that's really pretty and again this doesn't have to scream christmas you can do this for the fourth of july you can do it for valentine's day lots of different items or times of the year okay now look at this cute pick this is like frosty's hat we just watched frosty the other day me and dawson bless his heart i was like i just want to watch frosty and he's like come on mom i'll watch it with you bless his isn't that adorable so cute so you can kind of stick this out of the top you could probably put this i probably wouldn't put it in the boot but you could do lots of different things with this we'll see how we use this that's a really cute item okay again you could do this for january if you wanted to do snowmen on your tiered tray okay oh we got a little beaded tree so these beads are very popular i have a couple sets of them but i don't have a, a ring like this um so you could actually hang this over the top and hang it down they have a facebook group just fyi if you decide that you want to subscribe to this you can go over there and join their facebook group and everybody shows you their decor which i think is really cool and if you have a decor question, you can actually email them. If you're a subscriber, send them a picture of your wall or your desk or um, an area in your home you just need a little help with, and they will give you some design inspiration. So I think that's really fun too. Okay, the next thing in here. Oh, oh, is this a garland? Wait, what is this? I can't tell. Okay, no, it's not a garland. So it's just little snowflakes oh I dropped them lots and lots of little snowflakes so if you have like maybe a little clear hurricane you could fill them up probably with this if you wanted that would be cute if you've got a little vase that's clear you could use that what I find is there's so much around my house that I'm able to use and mix in to figure out how to make it work okay oh we got a cocoa cocoa chocolate so this will go on my hot chocolate bar and what i do for my hot chocolate bar is so easy you guys i just find really interesting um jars usually you can find them at the target like dollar spot for like a dollar or three dollars really interesting looking jars i have one that's shaped like a milk bottle you throw some swiss mist down in one you throw some um, marshmallows in one, maybe some peppermint sticks in another. You throw in just a cute um, little couple of decor pieces. Really, really easy and really, really adorable. So something like this is what I'm saying, a little easy decor piece that's gonna add some color and interest to your tear tray. That's perfect. Okay, then we got a little sign and I love it because if you've seen my kitchen, you know that I have a big sign that says joy that stays on my kitchen year round. I just changed the O with different wreaths. So this says joy to the world. It's got the little candy cane. So this is pretty, isn't it? This is heavy. This is a nice heavy sign. Wow. Okay. And then oh, let me take my scissors out of here before I forget and throw them away okay we got a little piece of greenery usually they will give us some sort of little nod of greenery or something and i always feel like this softens up your tray it also fills up blank space i don't like a lot of blank space on my tier tray um so this is what i mean about you could take this and this is what i would do it's just a pick i would bend it this might be too tall let me see no i don't think it is and if you needed some something tall on your tear tray, isn't that cute? I love that. But I also think a big spray of red holly berries would be adorable too. Okay, so let's go over to my tear tray and I will um, use some of these pieces and show you what I ended up with. Hang on. All right, it is getting dark outside, so I had to bring in some extra light. There might be some shadows. This is the corner of my kitchen. I've got the joy sign here and then the little cardinals in the cabinet as a nod to my grandmother. The little sign in the back is from the habitation box. So here's what I came up with. I still need to put a candle in the little red candle holder. The top little piece um, is a Santa boot with some greenery. That's what I already had, but the little ho, 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 that came from the tear tray box last winter. And then I have the little Frosty the Snowman hat at the top. I think that's adorable. Now the little tree in the back back here, that actually came from the tear tray decor box last Christmas. I think it was in the same box as this one. 
Then there's the little tree hanging down with the beads and the joy to the world. Then I added the little cute pop of red with the uh, lantern. I do need to add a candle in there. Then I just added the little sprig of greenery to the side to fill it up and give it a little bit more texture. Then I can't remember if I got this in the tiered tray decor box. I think that I did. It's a little cloche. Do you see it? It's a little glass gin cloche with a wooden bottom. I took the ice skates and I put them in there making them kind of have an antique -y feel. I think it would be really cute to add some fake snow to the bottom. I may do that. But that is what I came up with with the items that were in the box and some of the items that I had. And I think it's just so cute and so festive. All right, so I really love that box. I hope if you were confused about what a tear tray was, me decorating mine kind of answered your questions. I love how the stuff from last year's box fit perfectly with the stuff for this year's box. Like the greenery had the same amount of frosting and the little bit of berry through it. So it just worked seamlessly together. And she really gives you those special pieces. Like I think the cloche actually came maybe in an Easter box, but I was able to take those gorgeous skates and put them in there and they just look a little bit more high end, a little bit more elevated, and it takes your tier tray to the next level. Um, go follow me on Instagram if you want to see how I decorate future tier trays because I always post it over there when I mix things up. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you want to get this box, you can use my code down below for 10% off. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.